Yes, sir. Me now I want no passer. You little fatter. <laughs> I'm going like this, like, <laughs> you need to drop it. The ad lib in the background. No passer, passer. Right, then. My carb unit back on the mic. Right. Um... Yes, people, welcome back to Never a Foul. Make sure you do like and subscribe. Man City lose, Liverpool lose, Arsenal win is the title race so back open. Let's just throw one more in there. Man United also lose. We're never though. in a title race, so let's talk football. Title race. Last week, we were writing off Arsenal. We were talking about a Liverpool, the real deal. Could Spurs be the top four real deal? Man City was saying that they're cruising unbeaten start. It will change a little bit this weekend. Daps is in a blue tracksuit repping. Me and Cass are not stepping because Man United are lost. But title race. You're in dark yeah, clothes. Aye, aye, aye. I'm, I'm still bright. I'm, I'm still bright. I'm you're bright. You're shining like a diamond. Oh, you too. You aye, too I'm doing like Queen, you're going I'm to I'm doing Queen Victoria settings, man. You know what I'm saying? Like wearing dark clothes after the husband died. You know what I mean? Funeral That's, settings, dark yeah, clothes. funeral settings. Yeah, you yeah. got a lot to answer for, though. You do. Let's you know what? You dodged, you dodged. I'm in court, I'm in court today. Yeah? You dodged two bullets. Mm. Last night you dodged a bullet, and then this morning you got, dodged a bullet. In fact, and now you're about to dodge a bullet when we go live later on this evening. Yeah, yeah. I have. Well, when Saturday before I, the game, the not good enough. You were positive. You were positive. <laughs> I was I don't with worry. chest. I was positive with the camera with chest. Five out of our next six home games, I thought we'd win seven on the bounce in total. And Crystal Palace, the South Londoners, rock up to my yard and eat my food. And didn't even pay me for none. And of slapped it. you in the face. Does that mean I'm a ride or die since I took the bullets? Can I just say? I respect you for taking the bullets. I do. So you so call, to be you, fair, you, call me a ride or you die. actually no. Do you know what you took? You the, I didn't finish it. Yeah. You, I died. you are a ride or die. You no, know I think <laughs> you, <ride or> die. <laughs> yeah, you took the bullets. Well, actually, I watched the rival show and you stood firm. You kept back in. You know, Ten Hag. You said, "Did what you say, Ten Hag out?" But we're not going to say oh, they that. They tried. They so, tried. Yeah, but I'll be honest. Can I just sorry? Can I just give a massive shout out to Roy Hodgson? My guy. Yeah, they brought him out of retirement to dunk on us at Old oh. Trafford. Yeah, and he, do you know what the mad thing is? I was saying to Daps earlier, yeah. The last five league games Roy Hodgson's had at Old Trafford, he's not lost. Watford, I think he got two results of them. Crystal Palace, obviously, and you know, he's gone back to him. So we just can't beat Uncle Roy. Big up Uncle Roy, man. Your roast dinners must be My good God. on a Sunday. Oh, um, title race, title race. Let's talk, let's talk serious business. People that are at the top of the table. Man City losing. To Wolves, Wait, who at the top? Pep of the Guardiola, table? funny enough, calling him the Korean guy. He who's it? The, the who's winner. It, who's... That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Still, who's it, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, don't try who's, it. No, I'm not trying nothing. You tried it by going, let's talk top of the table, then went in on Man City. So I just want to ask you a question: Who's top of the table? Man City. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Next question, Your Honor. So, are Arsenal, Liverpool, back in this title race? Ooh. Title race starts in March for me. Firstly, right. Okay. Title contention is the better word. But the answer to your question is Man City have decided once again, and it's, you know, it's early doors, but that we don't want that easy title race. We don't like doing it the easy way. Never have, never will, right? Do you, do you enjoy it that way? Makes it fun for you all season? Do you know what? If I'm being honest, it makes it fun at the end of the season. Mm. It, it makes it... It's the Annoying. crash. It's the crash. It's the it's the crashing on people, isn't it? Yeah, it's the yeah. one where you can go to call the them hope, out. They, yeah. yeah, the hope that Liverpool and Arsenal fans might build up all the way to April for it to just crash down and that's just there. No, like, if, I, if, I, if, I, if, if I sit there and I talk about the seasons we've won the league, like the season we won the league over you, last day, last day of the season, goal difference, the season, the two seasons we beat Liverpool by a point. Yeah. Yeah. Last season with Arsenal, all right, it wasn't the last game, but, but they hyped it again. Until March, it's, April. it's those moments, yeah. Those moments taste I will remember. It, taste better, in it. I mean, the season we did a hundred points, yeah. I think that was a Sunday, yeah. You, you lost to West Brom. Ooh, my. 
Oh my yeah. word! It was just, and and that one was it because that one was like about Maybe. six or seven games before the end of the season. Yeah, and we knew yeah, yeah, we knew yeah, it was going to happen. So it's the ones where it's like up until the die. They're more enjoyable. So for mm. me as a City fan, but this bit right now, they're not as enjoyable as going unbeaten, unbeaten, unbeaten. And and what happened yesterday for me just shows that. Like City, yes, we are a machine, one hundred percent. But you know what? Sometimes machines get things wrong, right? Yep. And the the truth is, the truth in the matter is, what I saw yesterday is, you know, we talk about about teams missing loads of players. Yeah. What I feel yesterday taught me about City, and actually, you can pass it on to any club, is it's not teams missing loads of players; it's teams missing key players. And when I look yesterday, that particular game, right? Now, I'm not saying that in different games, a cover Nunes pivot would work, right? But in yesterday's game, it didn't work, yeah, right? Fair. We needed we needed to move the ball quickly. We weren't moving it quickly, yeah. right? We needed to hold our width. I don't feel we held our, we stretched the game enough. Maybe Grealish. I was going to say, I was gonna say that. You know all the ones that don't like this? See, I'm a fan of Grealish. Mo's not a fan of Grealish. Okay. Because I like what Grealish brings to the team. Mm. You listen. Yeah, do you instructions. Do you remember last... Actually, you know what? It is, it is actually is a fun fact. Thierry Henry back at Barcelona under Pep. He disobeyed him. He went and scored. At halftime, he hooked him. Yeah. See, that's the difference. Discipline. Uh, yeah. And, and do you know he what? He played like, on the left quite a lot there, though, because Samuel Atu was there. I think he yeah, he did. He, no, he, he played on left. He played on the left. The, and, 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 the, do you know the what? I is, think it is funny. Are you sure he played on the right? No, no, no he played, played lefty left. when he done, done really. us in the Champions League. And the funny thing is, as well, is that I'm so glad you mentioned it's not about loads of players out, it's key players. Because I was actually going to say, in terms of Rodri, and I know that he's played a lot of games, obviously, for you guys. That was his first Premier League game that he's missed since the ban. And he's never really had bans. He doesn't really get a lot of red cards. Mm. Do you think it even highlighted more the importance of Rodri yeah, to Man City? Yeah, but, but it's not even just that. Like, I look at yesterday's game and, there. look, we all have games. Every football club has games. City have probably two, three, four every season where, you know what, we don't perform as well. Yesterday Marge, it was, was Everton, didn't it? Remember, was it Everton that beat you? Uh, Southampton, I think, as well. There's a couple last yeah, season, yeah, to yeah. be fair. But it's even little things. And I know Rodri is out. He will be back. But yesterday was a game where I thought, you know what, we missed Gundogan. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we missed De Bruyne. Step up in a There's a couple moment. of players. And it's when you come against... Right, most teams try and do the low block against City, right? But if you're going to do the low block, you have to do it perfectly. And you also have to make your counters count, yeah? yeah? Yesterday, what Wolves did, and this is credit to them, is they did the low block very well mm -hmm. for 90 minutes, yeah? And they also did the counters well, right? And that's where I'm sitting there thinking, right... This is where we need our players that have played against the low block a million times, right? Mm. Your Gundogans, your De Bruynes, Marizes. your Rodrys, your Mahrezes, yeah. right? Your Bernardo Silvers, yeah. your John Stones. I, yeah. See, six players, yeah, yeah, they yeah, weren't yeah. there yesterday. Now, the, two of, you, you one of them, them Gundogans gone, Mahrez is gone. But then even your Grealish. Grealish has had two seasons now of playing against the low block. Yesterday, against this low block, we had Nunes, Kovacic, new to it. We had Foden and Alvarez in roles maybe that they're a little bit, they haven't played there yeah, yeah, too they're, much they're still yet. Learning on and the we're still, good enough, ultimately, yeah. it wasn't good enough yesterday. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you. We missed Bernardo Silva a lot. I think we missed Bernardo's energy a lot. But yeah. Wolves were just very good and we just weren't yeah, really good. Yeah, some days you've actually good. just got to look at it and say, you know, Wolves also, as, as much as Man City lost, Wolves, they turned up yesterday, they've had a bit of a poor start to the season, but, you know, whatever their game plan was in terms of, you know, sitting back, trying to get Neto, he Chan on cold. the counter-attack, it, it worked for them. And do you Gomez know what in the first yeah. half for them was cold, yeah. breaking things exactly. down. Exactly, so I've got to give credit to Wolves on that, but when you look at it, Cass, as much as Man City have, you know, lost their first game of the season, that's their first loss of the season, do you think now when we look at the title race, we're looking at, you know, Arsenal's and Liverpool's who are going to be the main title, you know, contenders to Man City. Do you think they're going to be looking at that thinking, okay, there is a few cracks that we can maybe work on or do you think it's just one blip in the park? What, for City? One blip? <clears throat> one blip in the park. I just think they just... Another tieism. Another blip in the park, you know. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is just, a, they're just delaying it, I suppose. They're inevitable. Mm. Maybe. Um, Liverpool's resilience with nine men, in my opinion shows everything I need to know and 10 men against a Newcastle. So that's two yeah. local yep. big six yep. sides. That means if they had nine men against the Crystal Palace, I'm pretty sure they go better than them. Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't know. I look at it like that, but then Arsenal came out of the woodworks and won 4-0 against Bournemouth yeah. away. You know, so 
If I'm going off of that as well, Arsenal maybe click it. I could say maybe they're clicking the gear. They're unbeaten. They're still mm. unbeaten at the moment. Yeah, they are. Liverpool just ended their run. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously of like 17 wins on a bounce. You know, Tottenham's the one I'm unbeaten, but they're not in the. They're not realistically in the no. question. But if you're if you're an Arsenal fan. You're confident going into Man City next week. If yeah. you're a Liverpool fan... Which we're going to do a preview on at the end of this week, by the way. Yeah, if you're a Liverpool fan, you're looking probably at that game thinking, I'm taking a lot of positives from that. Yeah, we're probably, we're probably missing one piece of that puzzle in January to really kick on. Yeah. Where it does kick on for the next few months. Yeah. Um, There's another one for Arsenal, by the way, as well. Go on. Jesus played out wide, yeah? And I think that's the second time now that he's played Jesus, out wide this Saka season. Jesus, yeah. Saka, Yeah, that's it. Right. Jesus played on the left. Oh, hold on. But you know, yeah. right. So, and I think that's, I think he also played on the left. Maybe, was it midweek? He also played on the left. He's definitely played on, he's played out wide, I think, twice this season for Arsenal. I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the yeah. interesting one with that is, and I'm pretty certain they've done well both times. Could that tell you now that actually... In January, they really could go in for Ivan Tony. No, yeah, it's done. Yeah, Jesus can play I think left. it's done. Yeah, because Martinelli and Trossard, obviously, they I know they both combat the left hand side, but you know they've had their both injury problems yeah. with that this season. They know that Jesus is competent at doing that. Keep Saka on the right hand side and then get your strikers. Can also play on the right yeah, side Jesus if need be. Right. So I think a striker who they know can get twenty plus goals. Basically, what Arsenal want is a striker to get them twenty plus goals a season. In the games they might draw one all or two all against yeah. Fulham, like they did earlier in the season, they might actually win that three two. And I think that's what Arsenal fans to be looking forward to in January if they can stay close enough to City that they're like right if we go and invest in a striker that can help us and Liverpool. stay competing and exactly Liverpool. in Liverpool because obviously no, the and gap, stay close enough and to the Liverpool. Gakpo injury apparently that could be quite a serious one which we're waiting to hear news on as well but even with Liverpool I like what you said there about you know the way they they won against Newcastle with 10 men with nine men they nearly got a point against Spurs and to be honest four points from them situations is something that I could even say 100% my club would not be doing that I think Liverpool are one of them teams at the moment and Arsenal for me, I'm going to say, and you might not like it, Liverpool and Arsenal fans, I think you need to do less talking and just let your team focus and win their games. And if they do that and they that's stay there ri- for a while... That's a bit rich in it, huh? You still got to answer for your crime, oh, no, no, bro. bro, he has to talk because his club ain't doing no talk. <laughs> yeah, I'll, talk on your, I'll talk on behalf of others. <laughs> but I think if Liverpool and Arsenal fans just stay a little bit quieter in terms of, you know, talking about their title hopes or, you know, Arsenal fans gassing up, just let their teams accumulate a run, do the business. Because like we've already said, we know that Liverpool can go on runs, which they have done, which ended on the weekend. We know that Man City can go on runs. We need to see now Arsenal go on a run. But I think the big thing for Arsenal, for me as well, is that Declan Rice back in that midfield. Now, I had my reservations about how good he'll be in his first season. At the moment, he has surpassed my expectations in terms of the leadership and the sort of control and the discipline he's shown in there. When he's not in the side, I'm like, wow. So do you guys think like Declan Rice... Um, you know, oh, I, 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 he's had a good start to the season as well. Yeah, yeah, hundred oh, percent. I, 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 I expect him to as well. I expect him to. Um, is this an Arteta masterclass, by the way? He, he, he went. He, no, all he pulled the wool over everyone's his own eyes. fan base's eyes, bro. They said what, they haven't we, trained all week. Oh, he said. Oh, he said Saka hasn't trained all week or with us or something like that. They're going to assess Saliba, Declan Rice not trained. Martinelli's still out, to be fair. <laughs> and um, who, there was another one. I think I'm missing Saliba. one more. Saliba. I was just saying yeah. him. So there's okay, an, I think yeah. there was another one potentially. I, there, can't, there I don't was know. Quite but... a few in, there was supposed yeah. to be a lot of injuries. And then I look at the team sheet and like, oh. Yeah, I was and like, I was wow, surprised. they're winning. Because at first I was thinking, oh my word, this guy's going to run Saka in the ground. We're going to go into Euros without no Saka potentially because he's going to get an Achilles injury if he keeps doing it. Maybe he still is packing the injury. But as far as I know, from what I've been told from... Arsenal fans got his penalty, I think, and he had yeah, a good yeah. game. Yeah. So yeah, what was yeah. no, it? Yeah, no, and I had him on my FPL actually, bench. Odegaard, funny, Odegaard took the penalty. Saka scored the normal goal, like come off the crossbar, tapped it in. Yeah, but yeah. I thought he was going to take. owes me points. Yeah. Arteta and they owes gave me one points. to Havertz as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, Arteta, you owe me. You owe me points, Arteta. Yeah. I put Saka on the bench. Yeah. Did you? And I because oh, I did. I thought he was going to be out. I had to play Chris Basham. Yeah. Because I had nobody else. Because everyone else is injured. I'm fuming. I'm I'm catching up to people. Yeah. Man up to Basham, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That is mad. That's mad. You know what? I did I did want to touch on something in terms of, obviously, <laughs> with, with the title race. Obviously, City have got Arsenal this weekend, which, like I said, we're going to do a preview on closer to the time. But looking after next week, international break, mm-hmm. and then we come back, and then you've obviously got another international back break in November. But between that sort of October period and to Christmas, that's when a lot of people say, you know, you can see who's going to be fighting for top four. You can see he's going to get relegated. You can no, see you don't. In the title race. That's what they normally say, though. Nah, Over the nah. years, no. it has been I'm, I'm going to go like... off recent and I'm going to go. It's when, see Christmas, see the first year mm. as in the new year. Mm. You can see what teams are where and what teams aren't there. And then you might have the odd Liverpool that, you know, like a Liverpool but team. That's what I'm, I'm not saying, saying them. 
But yeah, but you said November and all them. Places. No, no, I'm saying between um, October when they come back up to Christmas and nah, when not, get to that oh, New oh, Year. Like, right, I, I would say, Jan- I would say January. That's your period to work out. Yeah, your period yeah, 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 yeah. And this is what I'm going to look 20 at. Games have you so with Liverpool, I just want to see what we think about them now and whether they'll be close to City come that period as we're talking title contenders. So they've got Brighton next week. Then after that, Liverpool's run up until December the 16th so far, yeah. If Everton, and United, Nottingham yeah. Forest, Everton, Nottingham Forest, Luton, Brentford, Man City, Fulham, Sheffield United, Crystal Palace, and then Man United at home. For me, other than the Man City game, I wins. think Liverpool win all of them. Where now, is the Man City game, by the way? Etihad. November the 25th at Etihad. the Etihad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, be That's do, you know the do you know the most interesting <laughs> bit about that, though? Mm. It's the first time for a while that uh, the second of the two games is going to be at um, Anfield. Anfield. And do you know what's even funny about that? That game is the first game back after the international break as well. So you don't know what injuries could occur. That's just hypothetical people. There's but if you look injury. at that, how many do you think they lose from that? One. One, yeah. one I'm gonna say one okay. I'm gonna yeah. say one draw and one loss, rest wins. And I guess that draw is who? Not Man United. Love that. We'll save that energy because in two months I we like, can have another yeah. conversation. But no, that energy is saying is they're gonna uh, lose gonna to lose Man United. Bro. Yeah, I know. So I said we'll save that. Well you said you like that energy. I do, but I can't really talk in that right now when we've just been duppied by Palace. We didn't get um, but, we didn't get but my key question is you said one one loss maybe in one draw how many do you think that's as title contenders read it again so I'm going to go through Liverpool's fixtures up until December the 16th Everton at home after the international break got Brighton next season Everton at home Nottingham Forest at home doing that Luton away doing that Brentford home doing that Man City away lose that Fulham home doing that Sheffield United away win that they just got win, that. win that Palace away draw that yeah. And United home. Win, Win that. that. Okay, so you think they draw yeah, same, one, draw one. one. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if we're going off that logic, by January or end of December, Liverpool, if they only drop four points between now and then, should be very close to City. Am I right or am I wrong? Because yeah, I think City, they'll, yeah, they'll, yeah, yeah. I, I, Look, I don't expect Liverpool to drop points until the latter end of the season. I've been saying this. Mm. For me, Liverpool, if Liverpool can keep their best 11, Maybe we could even go as far as to say the best 13, 14 fit, yeah? And playing together consistently. I think Liverpool can, can be there. Yeah, in, then they can, can have another conversation about how this under underwhelming Liverpool side pushed City all the way. That will be the new narrative. There you go. Okay. Oh, the bridesmaids are back. The bridesmaids are back. We had, last, time, last time we got married, we only had one bridesmaid. This time we got two. <laughs> this time we've got two you can Who's, hear it but, from but the title the, favourites the, themselves the question is who is the maid of honour is it Arsenal or Liverpool well I, I suppose we're going to have to yeah we're going to have to let the, the season pan out I was going to say plan out but no pan out pancake out whatever you want to call it but guys the man, at man. the moment the man. <laughs> the absolute stinker, stinker. I know. get it's your Sunday, pancakes man. out for the lads man he's been get listening to pan- 10 too much them taxes ain't doing that yeah man. I know, I know. you need me in the dugout good. to be fair we'll be winning games you as my assistant um guys <laughs> make, sh- make sure you are liking and subscribing to the channel at the moment man city are top of the table but liverpool and arsenal are trying to hound them down like dogs Guys, also check out Uncle Clothing. Big up Uncle Clothing. Check them out on Instagram as well. And um, one of my boys' clothing's brand there. So big up to him as well. Um, guys, we are going to in the back. post, yeah? <laughs> check, yeah. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, PayPal, man. In the post, in it, <laughs> PayPal, make sure. Um, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe. Let us know in the comments who do you think will be closest to City come that Christmas time. Or will City even be top? Let us know. Big up.